For one of our projects based around Arduino, we programmed a set of EL wires to eliminate by sensor input. So we came across a few different types of masks that were either sound based or they would just blink on and off in different sequences. So we wanted to take that a bit further. And what we did, we found a company called Shane Mask on Etsy. And we really liked the design of their geometric, sort of low poly shaped uh, mask. And we chose the Sphinx Cat Mask model. So the idea behind putting these together, these masks together, is that you have to first build a paper version first. So we used 25 sheets of cardstock um, to build the, for the first base model. And then we built the cardboard version of it around it. And from there, we let it dry completely for about two days. And we spray painted it with the black matte spray paint. And here is the result. Okay, so here is the tech behind the EL wire project. Here's our accelerometer, and it's in a stable position. Um, it has a reference point, and this is at zero. So once it changes from zero, which is by me moving it, it triggers the relay to then trigger the inverter and external um, battery pack to turn on the lights. When it came to wiring the mask, we used two EL wires, an inverter, power supply module, and a relay. And of course, as much solder and single core wire that we needed. Because we only had one input, we soldered together both of the EL wires into the inverter and overrode the buttons function so that the inverter would continuously be on. The inverter was then connected to the power supply module, which was mainly for the wearer, so they wouldn't have to be connected to the PC, and the relay, which allowed the wire to switch on and off based off of our Arduino code. This is the code that we've implemented for the sensor input. Um, we have to find our, um, our pins, our variables, and also implemented a delay. So when we run this code, it will show in serial monitor, um, whether it's stable and whether it's moving, and um, that sort of triggers whether the light comes on or off. This was a lot of fun because <laughs> it was a learning curve for us all, but when we saw the end result, we were very happy with it.